Always start with a base coat to protect your nails. I like to use Beauty Secrets. Orly, Prince Charming. Start by applying one thin coat. And don't forget that important step, your second coat. Allow this to dry completely before moving on to the next step. The best way to use a striper is to rotate your finger slowly. Don't move the brush. Next, you'll want to paint two horizontal lines, one at the top and one at the bottom. For the stitching on the football, start by painting one vertical line and three horizontal lines across the vertical line. I decided to paint a football on my thumb, middle finger, and ring finger. OPI, Alpine Snow. On my pointer finger and pinky, I went in with one coat of white polish. Here, I decided to use striping tape. If you don't have any, just cut thin strips of regular tape. Here I am rearranging the tape on my finger in order to create the color blocking. You can pick any pattern you like. On my left hand, we will be using the Seattle Seahawk colors. China glaze. Paper chasing. Pick any area you like and go in and paint it with a green. China glaze. Frostbite. Go ahead and pick any other section of your nail and paint it with the blue. OPI. No room for the blues. And you'll now want to paint the last section of your nail with the light blue. You'll very carefully want to remove the striping tape. If any of your polish bled through the tape, just go in with some white polish and clean up those lines. You'll want to follow the same steps on your right hand as we just did on the left hand. On my right hand, we'll be using the Denver Bronco colors. Essie, orange, it's obvious. China glaze, frostbite. Last but not least, I'll be going in with my favorite top coat, Sedge Feet. Which team will you be rooting for? Let me know in the comments. The Seattle Seahawks or the Denver Broncos.